Hello all my magical friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a magical unboxing for you. We have another wizarding trunk box you guys. Yep, you heard me right. Another wizarding trunk box. I was so sad that my term as a rep was coming to an end and that I may not be able to get all the different kinds of boxes that they do at the moment because you know funds and things everything's kind of all up in the air at the moment and yeah I was really sad to think that I may miss out on a few of these boxes but the Wisdom Trunk did contact me to ask me to be one of their full-time reps and of course I gladly accepted so thank you so so much to the Wisdom Trunk for sending me today's box and yeah, I'm just so, so excited to get started. Of course, I have a discount code for you guys as well. So if you want to get your own box as well, you can use code Kaylee10 for 10% off your first box or any individual items that feature in their store. So definitely go and check that out if you want to. Don't forget as well, if you are new and you haven't done already, so please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And you can always go and check me out on my social media. A big, big shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you are interested in joining us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. You can go and check it out. So yeah, a wizarding trunk box. I'm very, very excited. I can't remember the theme of this one. I've actually got a couple of boxes on their way to me and I'm not 100% sure which one is which. So very, very sorry about that. But we'll find out together what the theme of this particular one is. And yeah, as always, I will give you guys the first sneak peek. Uh, oh gosh, strength. Okay, so not much to be seen on top except for a few wiggly worms and some boxes. Let's move some of these out of the way. Make a mess in the process. Ooh, you can see lots of goodies inside. So let's see what this box has to offer. First up, I'm seeing a olive green tea, which I'm digging. I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay. I know which one this is now. This is the potions box. I'm so excited about this one. I really am. I'm not going to lie. I have seen this box in box already because I didn't think I was going to get this box. So I do know most of the items, I think. I think there's one or two that I may have probably forgotten about. So, you know, but just go with me on this one, okay? I'm still really, really excited about this box. So yeah, this is the tea that we had. Like I said, it's in this like olive green color, which I'm really digging. And then this is the front here, which says Potions Club. And then we've got like a puff of smoke and a cauldron sitting right here. This is so cool. And then the back, we've got a really big graphic on the back, which again says Potions Club. We've got some potions there. We've got a puff of, cl uh, puff of cloud, a puff of smoke going around it as well. And then we've got the little cauldron underneath as well. Yeah, I really like this t-shirt design. I love the colour of it. I'm always a fan when we get these kind of t-shirts in these different kind of colours. I just think it's really, really nice to have some variety to our wizarding wardrobes. And I think this is a really nice tee. I'm very much digging it. Next up, I'm seeing the back of the pin. What is this one? Let's have a little look. Let's take it out. Ooh, okay. It's purple. Ooh, I like this one, actually. This is a living death potion it's purple in color and then we've got this skull inside and like again a puff of smoke coming out of the top with a cork that we can see in the midst of all the smoke as well that is a beautiful beautiful pin a little bit dark but i'm not mad about that i'm actually really loving the vibe that this is giving i like the backing card as well it's kind of like an oil um do you want to get like, like water and oil and you put like paints inside it kind of goes all swirly and whirly that's what this uh, backing card is vibes is giving me so yeah this is a really lovely pin I'm gonna add that straight to my pin board what is that let's see we have what looks like a very small key normally in the wizarding chart we get these quite big ornate keys but this is a very small one again not that i'm mad but it's just smaller than usual um so this one says ps so i'm assuming this is potion storage i can't remember this key from the unboxing that i watched but it looks to me like there's a cauldron with some smoke coming out of it and then maybe a bottle of felix felicis underneath that and then we've just got some like little decorative pieces alongside. This is not my favourite key, I'm not going to lie. It's quite a dainty little one, so that part of it I do quite appreciate. And the fact that it's all black with like this speck of the yellow potion there. It does have a whole other top, so obviously you could potentially use this as a keychain or something along those lines. So I think that's quite handy. But yeah, as far as the design goes, I don't dislike the design. I think it's quite nice. It's just maybe not one of my most favourite ones. But yeah, I think this is a really nice item as well. Okay, next we got what looks like some kind of potion or potion ingredient. Let's have a little look. So this is, oh, it's Calming Draft number two. It's from a product from Alchemy for the Skin. So the ingredients are sea salt, hibiscus, lavender, pink Himalayan salt, rose petals, and candula flowers. Okay, this is actually really beautiful though. Look at inside of there. That is so, so pretty. I love the label as well. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I'm going to see if I can smell this. 
oh my gosh that smells amazing and it's actually getting a bit of a memory of this one now i think this is like a bath salt am i right in thinking that i believe because she's kind of pouring out water so yeah i think this is bath salt i could be wrong i'll double check the cheat sheet in a moment but yeah from what i remember from seeing this unboxing before i think this is bath salt which is amazing because i do love a product that you can actually use and then you can always reuse the bottle to put on your potion shelves or you could just leave it on your potion shelves if you're not into bath salts and things but i think i'll definitely be using this as bath salt and then finding some way of replacing the ingredients on the inside oh for me to actually display Sorry, that smells amazing. Uh, okay, now this is something I do remember and this is something that I am incredibly excited about. So this says Breast Scales, it's Warwick's Premium Potionier Equipment. This is something that I am living for. I cannot wait to put this on my shelves. I saw it in the unboxing that I watched and I just fell in love. Okay, so we've got a piece here. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we've got more pieces here. Ooh. Right, so put that to one side something wrapped like that and then we've got some weights i think these are weights right so let me set this up and i will be right back eventually okay the struggle of putting this thing together i feel so sorry for my husband because if i am this much of a dingbat putting together something so simple as this then i don't know how he puts up with me but oh my gosh are you kidding me look at this little brass scale set this is so cute i can't even explain to you mine i don't know if this is intentional okay mine does seem to be a little bit worn and scratched and battered a little bit but it could just be a case of that's how it was designed to make them look like they're old and sort of more ancient which i'm not mad about i'm living for that but i'm not 100 percent sure if that is like fully integral to the design of this thing or if it's just me being a little bit unlucky getting a bit of a battered one but like i said to me, this does look like it could probably just be part of the design. The fact that they're supposed to be like old brass scales. But look at these. They are so cool. And it does come as well with a set of these really ducky, really cute little weights that you can put inside. So obviously mine do have a bit of weights on either side. So it's making them kind of slightly off centre. But if I pop this one in there, whoop, there it goes. <laughs> these are so cute. Living for this item. I'm so, so like thrilled with it. Seeing it in the flesh, it's even better in the flesh than it was on screen i just love this item so so much i am seeing another box and this one says bone regen gally pots apothecary now of course you can see on here it's got a little skull and of course it says bone regen so this is going to be clearly a bottle of skelly grow and i am super excited to see what they've come up with for this one let's have a look okay we've got polystyrene very nice very nice and then inside Oh, this is cute. I like this. Look at this little bottle of bone regen. This is so cute. Again, we've got like a little cork stopper in the top there, which is a really, really sweet little touch. It's obviously very different from the Scalagro bottles we see in the Harry Potter film, but it's a really, really lovely take on the bottle for themselves. I think it's really different. It's going to look gorgeous on my potion shelves. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Love this bottle. I can already tell that choosing like my favourites and least favourites at the end of this is going to be next to impossible. So let's get on with the next item. So this one is Authentic Black Lacewing Flies Pure Blood Apothecary. It's some flies in here. This is going to be so gross, but so cool at the same time. It's a really cute little box as well. Look at that. Oh my God, they are gross. Oh, this is so funny. Okay, so we've got a box of these duddy little flies. These are so realistic and it's so freaky. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. So these are black lacewing flies. Oh my gosh, how many have you got? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight lacewing flies. These are so weird. It's not even funny like to hold these. It's a little bit icky, but they're really cute as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are really fun. Again, perfect for your potion shells absolutely love the idea i love the little box that comes with it as well it doesn't look like it would be misplaced at all in snake's office i think this is a really really cool little product oh i'm seeing another pin at the bottom here is this a pin i think so yes yeah, so we've got a double back pin on the back here let's have a little look together at what the front is let me see okay no potion box would be complete without a portrait pin of professor snape himself look at that that's so cool he looks really sinister in this one i'm not gonna lie he looks really really creepy I'm loving the black picture frame. I think that's a really lovely little touch. And you can tell instantly that this is supposed to be Snape. So this is a really, really lovely pin as well. Probably not one of my favourites, only because it is a little bit freaky. And I'm not actually a 
big snake fan i know all you snake people are going to come for me on this one but i'm just not a big snake fan i just thought he was a really really shady character but you can't deny that a potions box would not be complete without something relating back to severus snape so living for that okay i believe we have one big box here one big box there oh we have more items i'm fibbing i thought there was only a couple little bits of bobs left in here but no i am lying one second let me put these boxes to one side okay this is next again it looks like another potion bottle type item let's see what this is so this is armadillo bile gross uh it's as orange blossom squeezable wax melt oh i remember what this is i'm living for that the fact that it's called armadillo bile though it does put me off just a smidgen that's a bit gross but i can't smell anything am i being nose blind oh yes i can definitely smell that now i'll take the lid off so this is orange blossom squeezable wax melt i'm gonna pop this to one side just for the moment until i show you the item that this could potentially go alongside who knows i'm teasing a little bit there oh there's another item there as well that goes alongside that so again i will show you in a moment right so that's the cheat sheet i don't want to see that just a moment i have two bits of artwork prints to show you so this one is a potions art print we've got a cauldron with some mystical green smoke coming out of it we've got a chair we've got a cutting board with some what looks like ginger and a knife we've got one of those um are they called pestles is that what they're called i'm probably being really dumb and not saying that wrong but we've got an egg we've got some potions on the side and we've got a book this probably won't be one of the pictures that i put up personally it's not really my vibe but it is very interesting. There's a lot going on in here. And they've got all the different sort of elements that you would associate with potions. So yeah, not a bad print. Just probably not one of my favourites. But we'll pop that to one side. And then we have Perfect Potions. What is this? Preparation of the Wolfsbane Potion. Okay, so we have like a page tear out of a potions book. So this is the Preparation of the Wolfsbane Potion uh, from Perfect Potions Spellbook. This is page 29 and 30. And it's how to make the Wolfsbane Potion. I quite like that, actually. We've got all the different ingredients here, um, all the different equipment that you'll need, all the instructions. We've got a really nice little wolf here. Although he does have a spear through his neck. Poor little guy. I felt quite sorry for him, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, this is a really nice thing as well. I quite like that. That's a really, really nice little touch. That is the cheat sheet. We don't want that. Okay, so we just have the last two items left. So I'm going to go for this sort of smaller box here first of all let's see what's in here oh okay we've got two items in here by the look so we've got a baggie and then another potion bottle maybe oh okay this is okay we've got a empty glass bottle there and then we've got oh i remember now i remember i remember i remember okay so we've got a gilly tonic potion label this is an aid to underwater breathing from pure blood apothecary and then we have Another little potion bottle. Whoop. There we go. With some green fluidy liquid stuff in there. And then in this baggie. Hmm, why would you open baggie? Ah. There we go. Right. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, in the bag we have some stones. And then we also have some gillyweed. Look at that. So we can basically DIY our own potion bottle how cool is that when i saw this on the unboxing that i watched i was just like no way that is such a fun idea to actually get given a do-it-yourself potion bottle so we can actually be a part of the potion experience we can actually make a potion rather than just getting a standard potion that's already made up to display on our shelves which is lovely i'm not having a go at that but rather than just getting that we've also got something that we can actually make ourselves and put onto our shelves and say you know what I bottled that and I'm very, very proud of my potion making skills. How cute is that? So I'm going to pop all these bits and bobs back and then I will pop all them together another time. I might film that as like a Patreon kind of style video. That might be fun. So if you're not a Patreon and you'd like to see sort of Patreon exclusive videos, then there's definitely a link in the description down below that you can go and check out and be a part of that because that would be really, really lovely. But yeah, I think that's a really fun little idea. I love that. See, that's the thing about watching these unboxings and then a few weeks later getting the actual box yourself is that you kind of remember what's in them, but you kind of don't remember. And then you get a little bit of surprises and you get some things that you're really excited to see. So, yeah, it's been quite nice, actually, to actually have a box much later that I wasn't expecting to get, but kind of know already what was inside. So, right. Last item, though. Let's get on with this, because this is, again, probably one of my favourite items in this entire box. I do know what this is. So let's carefully pull this out. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some styrofoam. 
let's detach it all okay so we have a little cauldron and a little stand so we can thread our cauldron on the stand there how cute is that and then we have something that i put to one side earlier on is a little tea light candle so you pop that under there you pop some of your squeezable wax inside the cauldron and then you light the candle and then you get a wax melt this smells amazing i mean obviously it's kind of a squeezable one so it's kind of already technically melted but i don't know i think this is just such a fun and cool concept i absolutely fell in love with this item when i saw it i am so so obsessed and i'm so happy seeing it in the flesh it's absolutely beautiful it's such a cool fun unique item i'm absolutely living for it the fact that you get the wax as well as the little tea light candle as well as the whole cauldron setup as well i just think this is such a beautiful beautiful item i'm keeping this well away from my children because they do have a habit of getting involved sometimes in a couple of my magical items and sometimes those magical items have been damaged or in the worst case scenarios they have been broken so this is something that i'm definitely keeping away from my children but yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with this item cannot wait to use this properly okay so that was everything in the box i will quickly go through the cheat sheet here which has been made to look like another potions page so this is the preparation of gilly tonics so obviously the little diy potion bottle that we got earlier on it's actually some instructions now on how to actually set that up which i think is brilliant i'm so glad that we got that that's really really sweet it says place your stones into your bottle arrange a magical water plant in the bottle so it runs the entire length from top to bottom fill your bottle with water and obviously then it goes on to give you all the rest of the information about how to actually set that up which i just think is genius i will be doing that for another video another time so what we get in this box so we've got 13 items the first one being the potions club t-shirt a super soft shirt is only available for the members of the Potions Club, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop, an exclusive wizarding trunk item. And then we have the Cauldron Wax Warmer, designed to make your room smell just like the potion you're brewing, a wizarding trunk exclusive. Uh, we have the Armadillo Bile Wax Melts. A few drops of this squeezable wax melt into your new wax warmer will fill your room with the amazing scent of Armadillo Bile. I don't know how nice that would actually smell in the real world. But it does smell really nice. It smells of oranges, so who could be mad at that? I would just say, oh, orange blossom. There we go. <laughs> Created for us by Inflamere Candles, label design by Wizardry Workshop, Wizarding Trunk Exclusive. Then we had the portrait pin. This portrait hangs in the dungeon and oversees your potion classes, a Wizarding Trunk Exclusive. Then we have the Potion Storeroom Key. This key allows you to access the Potion Master Private Storeroom, designed for us by JP Mizzlecrow, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Then we have the Potions Class Print, which is a view from your desk during Potions Class, created by Queen Mab, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Next was the Wolfsbane Recipe Page, a page torn right out of Perfect Potions, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop, Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Next was the Black Lacewing Flies, a staple for your potions kit or shelf, Box designed by Wizardry Workshop, filled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Love that item, it was so funny. Next was the Bone Regen Potion. This healing potion mends and strengthens broken bones. It can also regrow vanished bones entirely. Love that. Uh, a Living Death Pin. I dare say one drop would kill us all. Designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. A Gilly Tonic DIY Kit. It is time to brew your Gilly Tonic to breathe underwater. We can't wait to see the bottles that you make. Decorate them however you like and tag us with the Wizarding Trunk Potions class on Instagram. Label designed by Wizardry Workshop. Kit prepared by Pure Blood Apothecary, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. It does have a disclaimer, this liquid should not be consumed. So make sure you do not drink it, you guys. Will not be a good idea, trust me. Next up, we had the Vintage Brass Scales. Scales from Warwick's Potion Supplies are a necessity when weighing potion ingredients. Box designed by Wizardry Workshop. And last but certainly not least was the Calming Draft Bath Potion. Yes, it was bath salt. I did remember that right, so that's brilliant. So this mixture by Alchemy for the Skin contains pink Himalayan salt, hibiscus, lavender, sea salt, rose petals, and candula flowers. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, makes for a calming bath and looks great on any potion shelf. Label designed by Wizardry Workshop, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this box. I'm not even going to lie. There were definitely items in this box that to me were really stand out items. I really, really fell in love with a few of these. But now that I see everything else in the flesh, I'm so glad that I was able to have the entire box. So once again, thank you so much to the Wizarding Trunk for sending me this box in its entirety because... I'm just absolutely beaming from ear to ear looking at all these bits and bobs. I'm so grateful. It's just absolutely brilliant. I'm in love with this box. That horrible time has come again where I have to even try to pick a favourite and a least favourite. And I don't think I'm going to do such a good job at that. 
I'm gonna have to say my least favorite item is gonna be the print this time. It's just not my aesthetic and that's absolutely fine. You're not gonna love every single item in every single box. You're not gonna love every art with print because I think for me, art is very subjective. I'm very particular and choosy over my artwork. I think you guys probably know this by now. I'm very, very particular about what goes on behind me. So yeah, this is just not really my aesthetic, but I do appreciate the time and effort has gone into this artwork. I think it is really nice. It's just not for me, but a favorite. Ah, oh, that's gonna be really, really, really challenging. I'm definitely not gonna be able to just pick just the one favorite item. I'm just not able to do it. I'm so, so sorry. So the brass scales, the cauldron burner, the bone regen potion, the DIY potion, the black lace wing flies as well, which is absolutely brilliant, it just made me laugh. I really like the potions t-shirt and the little potion pin as well, I thought that was a really pretty pin. This is just beautiful. A part of me feels like it's a big shame to just like dump it into my bath and use it just once. Um, but also a part of me feels like I need to have like that deep, relaxing, calming draft bath. I think that would be really, really lovely. Um, but yeah, I'm just blown away by this whole box. I'm not even kidding you. It's just such a beautiful, well thought out and just brilliant, brilliant box. Thank you so, so much for watching this video, you guys. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a magical thumbs up for me so that I know. And don't forget as well, if you haven't done already, to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, you guys.